Hello YouTube, Intuitive Edge here. <clears throat> I'd like to I'd like to talk about something before I get into the reading that I'd like to have planned. Um for those of you who watch my channel, if any of you are intuitive yourselves or have any type of psychic awareness or ability, um, maybe you just get a gut feeling or you just know things ahead of time. Um, we all have that to some degree. And so those of you that have those things already, you might know what I'm about to talk about or you might have some understanding. Um, the last day, um, I have been under a lot of um, stress and it's not related to my job or my family or anything. Everything else is going good, but I have this just incredible anxiety and um, I've known in the past my my own past history when i when i feel this to the degree that i'm that i've been feeling it lately um i take pause and i stop and i say to myself okay is this me or am i picking up something you know is this about me and my own dramas and things i'm into or <laughs> or is something else going on and i'm picking up something from the ethers um it has happened with me many times in the past where I will feel something. I will just feel anxious or I'll feel dread. And it doesn't have anything to do with what I'm going through in life. Um, life can be going along just great, but I'll have this horrible, like, just sense of something bad going to happen. And it just, it won't leave. When it's, when it's enough that it keeps me awake at night and it doesn't leave me alone, um, I generally need to stop everything and go, okay, what is this? What's going on? So um, what I decided to do was I want to take a, a, a leap out, a leap, a leap of faith, I guess, and figure out what this is and videotape, videotape what I get. Um, because last night I did not sleep very well at all. I woke up in the night just almost in a panic, feeling a horrible dread. And okay, that doesn't happen very much with me ever, okay? I sleep like a log at night. I don't normally have stuff that keeps me awake. I don't usually stress over things. I figure it out in the morning. Sometimes I'll pray over what I'm feeling and then I'll have an answer in the morning. Um, I, I do like to use my dreams a lot and ask for answers. But last night I could not sleep. And I literally almost felt like sick to my stomach. It was so overwhelming and so just like complete anxiety. And I'm not prone to anxiety attacks. You know, I don't do that. I, I eat healthy. You know, I don't, I don't have any vices in life, you know. So I couldn't explain it other than maybe it's not me. Maybe I'm picking up something that's going on. Um... So what I'd like to do, I'm going to shuffle up the cards here in a moment, and I'm going to ask my guides, my angels, and the cards to give me some insight as to what's going on. What is this about? Um, what is it? Is it me, or is, am I picking up on something? Um, so we're going to ask what? We're going to ask where. Where in the world is this? Sometimes I'll pick up something that's happening, you know, in Belgium, or someplace, you know, in Europe. Um, I've done that before. You know, they'll they'll have a, a chemical attack or something over, and I'll, I'll pick that up, and I'll feel it. Um, so we're going to ask where. And then the last thread I want, and I thought about this a lot, um, I want to ask, what is the help? What can help the situation? Um, you know, if it's some big thing that's going to happen in the next day or two, you know, what what can we take hope in? What can we do to help ourselves or help the situation? So with that, I'm going to take a moment and um, I'm going to be quiet. So I'm not going to say a whole lot because I, I really want to get centered and I really want to feel what this is that's going on because um, this is this is bigger than just a random 
thing for me. Um, it's it just it feels like the walls are ca walls are caving in literally. It's so heavy. So all right, I'm gonna shuffle up, guys. Bear with me, okay? I'll be back in a moment. just saying a quick little prayer as I shuffle up here. Just that the cards fall in the right and perfect order. You know, that, that whatever messages that I need to see or feel or get out there, that the right and perfect messages would be there and that the cards would open up to me and that I would um, open up my heart and, and life and soul to hear the messages from, from the Spirit. What is this anxiety that I'm feeling? Where in the world is it? And what's the help for the situation? Okay, I think we're good. All right, I'm going to cut the deck. So what is this? What is it that I'm feeling? Where is it? And what is the help? And again, with the Cat's Tarot, it, uh, it's based loosely off the original tarot deck, so I'm going to largely use my intuition on these cards tonight. <sighs> okay, so interestingly enough, um, the card of grace comes up for what is it? And the picture is you've got Tempest of the Sea on both sides. And you've got a picture of a cat, you could liken it to a person, walking across um, these very temptuous waters on either side. And he's walking through. So he's walking through some dangerous times, some danger. The fact that there's a rainbow tells me that it... I feel like there's like the forces of good are clashing with the forces of the not so good or evil, if you want to call it that. It feels like a clash between worlds and there's a very thin divide and there's a people or a person who is walking through this really chaotic battle between good and evil. I'll just put it that way. We're going to get more on that as we go. Where is this? So this is the four of sky. Okay, this is going to take some intuition here. The, the images of a cat that is resting and sleeping in a meadow. Looks like a meadow of lavender. There's a weather vane at the top of the picture. And it is pointing west. Um, also, the cat is resting. So it could be some place that is maybe literally dark. Um, and I, I don't mean spiritually. I mean, like, the sun's gone down, people are in bed for the night. So it could be on the other side of the world. Um, what time is it here? 7.30 p.m.? Um, it's pointing pointing east-west. Pointing west. Um, but I'm thinking that it's somewhere where people are sleeping. So, you know, basically, right now I'm on the, the uh, west coast of the United States. And it's still light outside where I'm at. I'm kind of a little for, a little north, <laughs> um, even though it is 7.30 p.m., roughly, where I live. So um, so it's not dark here. People aren't in bed yet. Um, but that's the picture I get. It's somewhere where people are, like, turned in for the night. So, you know, that could be as much as, you know, I don't know, East Coast all the way to Europe. I don't know. 
I don't know. We'll get more on that. We'll get more on that. Um, <clears throat> what is the help for the situation? Um, okay, we have a messenger. Um, this is a page of pentacles for those that are familiar with the regular tarot. This is the earth kitten. Um, these cards reverse generally are, um, it's kind of a static feeling, um, a not very good feeling. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to pull some more cards because oftentimes they'll come along and it'll begin to tell a story. Um, generally there's a message here about what the help is for the situation. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Good. Um, ooh, I haven't, I don't think I've seen this. Six of Earths. This would be the Six of Pentacles. <sighs> okay. And it's upside down. And I got the Judgment card. So for Major Arcana, I've got one here, one here, and one here. All right. <sighs> okay. Literally, when I look at this card, I see someone being poisoned. Um, God, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so, I'm so like freaked out over this. I've just, I've been feeling this for the last 24 hours, just especially the last 12 to 15 hours has literally, I just have not gotten a moment's rest. This is the six of earth. The picture is, the picture is. The kittens are kind of, these cats are coming together. Everybody's kind of sharing a meal. It came in reversed. And literally, that's the picture I got. Is someone is being poisoned. Um, and I feel like it is somebody who's walking a very tight line between the forces of good and evil. That there isn't a, there is a, um, that person is in danger, perhaps, or possibly um, going to be poisoned, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I This is so heavy. I just, I can, I almost literally cannot do this. I just, oh my God. And I, I don't know who this is. I don't know what this is about. I just know I've been feeling it. And it's driving me really, really, it's very, very serious. Almost shaking. Okay. All right. Get through this. Okay. The next is where, um, I had this picture of, of like, pe you know, people in rest or people resting. So it's maybe a little further East or, or maybe even West of here, you know, somewhere in the other time zones, dark people maybe sleeping. Um, I get a picture of, of, um, this is the judgment card and it's reversed so it almost feels like somebody is meeting met, being met with judgment or some sort of judgment is being meted out on this person who's resting so i don't know if this person's going to be poisoned in their sleep because it's the image of the person sleeping You guys, this is so heavy. I oh my god. Okay. All right. Okay. What is the help for the situation? Oh god. I don't know if I can get through this. I gotta take a minute. Oh. Okay. The good news is that we've got the sun card here. Um. And I asked, what is the help? What is the hope or the help for this situation? And there's a message here, and this is the sun card. Suns are very positive. If you get the sun in your reading, it's a very positive reading, okay? Um, it can even turn a very dark reading if you're facing something really challenging and you get the sun card, especially if it's upright like it is here, that things may turn out to be okay. You might have to go through some, pardon the French, you might have to go through some shit, but this is saying that, that you're going to come through it. Or that something good will come of it, okay? Something good will come of it. Okay? So, 
if this is if this is the picture I'm getting, and if this is right, and if somebody is poisoned in their sleep, um, either they will survive it and maybe be really sick for a while, or some just or some some good ultimately will come of it. Okay, so that's that gives me hope in some way because this I, this the feeling I get with this being being an empath and intuitive, I'm almost. It's just, it's almost too much. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to do one more here. I'm hanging in there, guys. Hang in there with me. Holy crap. Oh, just lovely. The demon cat. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we've got the seven of fire. Seven of wands in the traditional tarot. Okay. This card is about, generally, it's about being in a battle and getting the upper hand. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but this to me, um, I'm just going to, I'm going completely intuitive on this. It's reversed and it is, um, to me, something feels like sorcery or black magic. Um, I feel like there's some sort of sorcery, um, spell or witchcraft or some sort of, um, I guess just, I'll just say sorcery, um, coming against this person, um, and this was like a potion, um, so that's what we're dealing with, um, I don't think this is just, you know, somebody's gonna be poisoned, but it's being done by people that are closely associated with the dark arts, okay, I'll put it that way. Okay, um, and I put, where is this? Holy crap. This is a really ugly card, you guys. Check this out. Okay, this is the tradition, in traditional tarot, this is the devil card, okay? <laughs> nice, demon cat. All right, so what we, what we generally see when, with the dark card like that, this is in the position of where. Um, so, this is somewhere where the dark side has a lot of control um, <clears throat> or dark forces have a lot of power. It's kind of like the picture back here of someone walking through very tumultuous good and evil and trying to walk a tight line through there. Um, then you've got this as in where and he's like this, this, whoever this is, is walking like right into the lion's den. Um, they're protected to some degree, but it's like they're kind of walking right into something. Um, but I almost see this person as fearless. It's like, I don't care. I'm, it almost just feels like they're just being led by like their higher self, their higher intuition. But they're walking into something. Um, it feels orchestrated though it's like i think this is like part of some sort of plan or something that's been in, in the works or planned um okay guys <laughs> okay the last card um well not the last almost next to the last card um what is the help and i've got uh this is this is the two of earth two of pentacles for those familiar with the tarot um, this is a card of, like, things are hanging in the balance, okay? And this cat in this picture is balancing an apple and something else on its head. It's like a balancing act. Um, he's got the sun here, so there's something that's saying that this person is not completely left to the wolves, Okay. Um, there is something that good going to come of this, whatever this situation is. Um, but if you feel so inclined to pray for this person, um, honestly, I don't think it's just, you know, the guy down the street that lives in my town. Okay. Um, I, I want to say this is like, um, a world leader, a senator, a head of state president it's some it would not be affecting me this bad 
I mean, if it was not somebody important on the world stage. When I feel these, this kind of angst, I get these before world events, um, not generally just personal issues, okay? These, I've gotten these before. Um, I, I had this similar type of angst um, before the earthquake on December 24th, 2006 that hit Banda Aceh, Indonesia. Um, it was just this horrible dread, okay? So, but to me, this is a single person. This is, this is a person that is under severe, severe psychic attack, okay? Sorcery. Um, okay, we're going to turn over the bottom card. This will be our overall. Okay, this is nice. I've got, I've got the, um, this is a messenger, sea kitten, at least it's something cute, because <laughs> this is such a heavy reading, I'm seriously having trouble getting through it, <laughs> um, so to me, this is somebody walking, like the tide is coming in, they've got their back feet wet, but their front feet are on dry land, and they're pulling through. I think this person is going to pull through, um, but I don't think that it's going to be easy, and I don't think that, I, I feel like this is, this is, this, these people are playing, for, whoever this dark side is, they're playing for, they're playing for keeps, they're not, you know, this is not a joke, it's very serious to them. But the person that they're attacking has the sun on his side. And if you want to equate that to son of God, you can. Um, I don't know. I'm just saying they've got the light on their side, okay? This is literally, and I, I'm not being facetious here. This is literally a war between light and dark. And who's going to win ultimately hangs in the balance, okay, guys? <clears throat> so if you know who this is, um, pray for this person. Um, this is bigger than any of us right now are imagining. Okay. So we just lift this up and that's all I'm going to say for now. I'm going to go try to relax and I might have to have a glass of wine. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.